Well, Coach, it's nice when a well-executed plan works. Well, you know, we, we threw the whole kitchen sink at him. We, got, we still got some silverware left on top. You did. Uh, but definitely the execute down stretch, and that's what we've been, what I've been on him about. Is just, you know, all this work you guys put in, don't let it, you know, just go away in vain. You guys have to actually go out there and keep executing, keep believing. And that was our speech today, was just they looked at each other's eyes and, you know, told each other, like, I believe in you or I believe in myself. And that's what it takes. If you guys believe in each other, you know, at the end of the game, you never know what can happen. No, and you're exactly right. But uh, the freshman found out the, the the size and the physicality of Port Angeles uh, for the first time. Yeah. I mean, I was I was on the refs about that a little bit because, <laughs> you know, it's part of the game. But, you know, our guys adjusted. It took them a little while to adjust, but I tried to do my, my best on my end to help them out. Uh, but it's, you know, it's growth. I'm glad they're going through their first game like this. That way, going forward, they know what to expect. Because PA, I love coaching against Coach Casey because he just teaches them to play the right way. Oh, no, he's a good coach. So how do we be able to combat their height and their length as the game went on? I just determination, wear them down. I and mean, we had a good game plan coming into it. Uh, good thing we had a whole week to prepare. So that helped us and helped me watch them multiple times and we went to practice, made a few uh, game adjustments. Um, we got to execute a little bit better, but all in all, I'm pretty satisfied. Well, you're a guard, and I think maybe being a guard worked out tonight because you, because you know that speed can, can overcome can overcome height. Yeah, speed, quickness, and knowledge. I mean, that's all you need. I, I, I've been there before. You know, right, that's what be, I meant. You don't have to be the uh, biggest and strongest and quickest. You guys be the smartest one out there, and I, I appreciate that to the end of the day. If you're smart, you can execute, and you can finish games. Trenton Bulmer, he had a lot of it provided a spark coming. He didn't he, had, he didn't have much height, but he managed to find a way to get around Port Angeles. Yeah, he's been he's been in the program for the last these last four years, and we we always talk about his growth each year, and that's what it takes, you know, as as a player, as an individual. Whatever you do is just the growth. Are you showing growth? Are you showing your commitment to wherever you're at? Doesn't matter what you're doing, and he's done that, and he's continuing to do that and be a leader on the team. We got a busy schedule next week. Play Monday. You've got. Um, you got Sheldon coming up here, and, and they're always physical. And then you got a big test on Tuesday at Squim. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you sign up for. You don't sign up to practice. Right? No, you're right. <laughs> you sign up to play. And I think where we're at now, we've had a lot of practice. I think the boys are ready just to compete. And I think they can make end game adjustments because we practice them a lot. Um, and we still ain't got through half of our half of my book that I want them to complete. <laughs> so we got a lot of work to do in my end, but they're doing a great job so far. Anything else, George? Nope, that's good. Well, Coach, hey. You'll sleep good tonight. Yep, thank you.